Hey everyone and welcome to another DaVinci tutorial. In this one you're about to learn how you can do the shake effect just like this one. And this is just one example of what you can do using the shake effect. You can do many other things and motions. And now we can begin with the tutorial. But first, if you're new here, this is Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions and many other things. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button. Just do it! Alright, to get started, I'm having a video on my timeline as a background. I'm going to the effects library, titles and I'm adding a simple text. And the next step is going to the inspector, renaming the text and adjusting the size and the font of your liking. And make sure you're designing it the way that you like, because after the next step, there's not going back. And if you wanna change something from the design, you have to start from the very beginning. So after you make sure everything's right, we can continue with the next step, which is to right click on the text that you have just added on your timeline, select the top one which is new compound clip, name it as you wish and then click on create. And now that we have just created the new compound clip, you want to go to the effects library, then select open effects and type shake in the search box and you should see the camera shake effect. So you wanna grab it and leave it over the new compound clip that you have created. And now you can see how it's looking with the default settings of shake effect. And to make it look even better you can highlight this compound clip, go to the inspector and select the effect icon. And now on the top side you can see that the camera shake is enabled. And the top three options motion scale, speed scale and motion blur are the main ones. I'm not gonna go in details, you can check them out individually. But for this tutorial I'm gonna increase the value of all of them. Since I want to make it smoother and a little bit faster. Also I'm gonna go down on the shake levels and I'm gonna increase the value of the PTR speed, the amplitude of rotation and also I'm gonna increase the value of zoom amplitude and zoom speed because I wanna make the motion of going in and out. But this is not everything, after I adjust all the settings that I want I'm gonna show you what I did and what you can also do. So after I did everything basically I synchronized it with some music. Also on the fusion composition clip I made the cuts every time I see the text is zooming out and I did this cut just so I can leave a video transition in between them and I have total of 7 cuts and in the first 6 cuts I'm using a crash zoom effect transition my opinion on it is that it's giving nice fade out effect and for my last 7th cut because it's a closing cut I'm using a different video transition which is camera shake and I'm making the duration twice as big as the other ones because I think it has to be slightly different than the others and at the same time similar so that's why I used the camera shake at the end. And that was the tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below if this video was helpful or not. Like the video, subscribe for more and see you in the next video.